Microsoft Word 2010, Citations, Bibliographies, and Cross-References. Many type of documents require some sort of bibliography or citation to mark your sources. This can be done very easily on the References tab. We have a Citations and Bibliography group in the middle of the tab. Now I'm going to scroll down here to a place I would like to insert a citation. I have a quote here, and this quote has not been cited. Now I'm going to go to the Insert Citation button, and I have a source already listed, so I can simply click on it, and it adds the source. That's easy if your sources are already in here. If they aren't, then you have a couple options. I'm going to go ahead and undo that, come back here, and choose Add New Source. Here, what I would do is put it in. And I'm just going to put my name in here and say that I wrote a book. Once I put all these elements in, I could click OK. If I want to see all the bibliography fields, I could click that. And there are other things I may want to include. In this case, I probably have everything I'd like, but I can put additional information in here if needed. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Notice that because I created this item, as I was inserting a citation, it put it in and it created it as a source. Another option is that you may not want to put the source in right now. You may not have the full information and you want to come back to it later. Click where you would like to put the citation, come up to Insert Citation, and add a placeholder. And I'm going to click OK to that. This is for any sources that are not yet listed in your Manage Sources. Then later on, I can come in here, hit the drop down arrow, and edit the citation, which will give me the ability to put pages, suppress different fields. But again, it's not in here yet, so I'm not going to worry about that. More likely, you're going to come in here and go ahead and edit source. Now you can add the source in just as I did earlier and we'll put that information in for you. So placeholders can be incredibly valuable if you do not have your sources yet listed. Once you have all your sources, and I'm going to go ahead and delete this placeholder first of all, once you have your sources in here, you may want to manage your sources and take a look at them. I have the placeholder, but I can go ahead and delete that. And I can see that I have the two sources in here. This source is not cited, so it does not have a check mark next to it. If you want to add or delete sources to your list, you can do that. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. And actually, maybe I do want to add that first source in there, so I'll put that there. Now I'm going to go to the end of my document where I already have a works cited in here. Now the works cited goes on the last page. I put a page break in here and now I have my works cited. I've made changes, so I'm going to go ahead and choose to update my citations and bibliography. Now that it's updated, I can see both entries. Once again, I'm showing you what would happen if the work cited was already here, but let's show you how to actually enter it. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and delete my work cited. And now I'm going to go ahead and enter it again. The way I would do this is on my blank page at the end of my document, go to Bibliography, and I can choose either the Bibliography style or Works Cited style. I'm going to go ahead and choose a Bibliography. And my Bibliography came in at the end of my document. Now, let's say that you want your Bibliography to have a different style. What I'm going to do is come in here and change the color of my text to black. I'm also going to change my font to Times New Roman. Now below that, I may also want to change up the way the entries come in here. I'm going to go ahead to my paragraph region, click the paragraph button, and I'm going to say I want some space after to be put in there. Once I make the changes I want, I'm going to come back up here and select my entire bibliography. Now. I'm going to choose to save this selection as a bibliography gallery item. What this will do is it will save this right here in this list. 
And then if I want to create any other bibliographies that look like this, it will be saved for future use. So I'm going to click Save Selection to Bibliography Gallery. I get the Create New Building Block dialog box, and I could choose to give it a name. And I'm just going to call this Professional Bibliography. And I want to save it in my Bibliography Gallery, and then I click OK. Now down the road, I can come up to Bibliography, and I can see that my Professional Bibliography is there. And that's how we can insert a citation, add sources, manage sources, and create a bibliography in Word 2010. Now it's time to look at a different type of reference. What we're going to go ahead and do is add a caption to a figure, and then we're going to go ahead and build a cross-reference to that. So first of all, I'm going to click on the image I want to add a caption to. I'm going to scroll up so we can see just below it. Now I'm going to go to my References tab. On the References tab, I'm going to insert a caption. And notice it says Caption Figure 1. And then I'm going to say Michiko Watanabe, CEO. And I do want this to be a figure, and I want it to be below the image, so that's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now you can see that it says Figure 1, Michiko Watanabe, CEO. That's our basic caption. Now I want to build a cross-reference in my document. So what I'm going to do is click after her name inside the document, and I'm going to put a parenthesis, and I'm going to say C, and then a space. Now what I'm going to do is come up and put a cross-reference in. This is on the References tab as well. I'm going to click Cross-Reference. And I can reference many different things, numbered items, headings, bookmarks, footnotes, endnotes, quotations, and way down near the bottom of the list is figure. And I could have it put in the entire caption or only the label and number. By putting the entire caption, it would say figure one, Michiko Watanabe, CEO. But what I want to do is I actually want it to just put the label. So it's going to put in figure one. So I'm going to click insert. And now it says see figure one. And I don't even have to close out of this. I'm now going to type on page and a space. And now I want to put the page number. So I change the insert reference to page number and choose insert. I'm going to close out of that. And then I'm going to close it up. And that's how we can do a caption and a cross reference in a document. And that covers some of our basic referencing tools in Microsoft Word 2010.